president of Les Girondins de Bordeaux for the last 20 years, Jean-Louis Trio readily admits his first love is wine rather than football. The entrepreneur has been working in the wine industry since the 1970s. He owns four chateaux in the region and his business produces around 700,000 bottles of claret every year. When you're born in Bordeaux, like me, and your family's been here for several generations, you're always going to have a link to wine, whether you're a producer or a negotiator. With the football season in full swing and the grapes ripening, late September is a busy period for the 66-year-old. These vineyards are now ready for harvest. You can see we've pruned at the bottom to speed up the harvest and ensure the goodness goes into the grapes and not the leaves. And just like a football pitch, the grapes need air. So the more leaves we take away around the grapes, the more air they get and the better they grow. So, are we set for a vintage year? It should be a good year, yes. When it's hot and dry like this, the grapes ripen, like all fruits. The conditions should ensure we enjoy an excellent harvest. And what about the prospects for the football team? Listen, I just don't know. In wine growing, the criteria are clear. If it's hot and dry, the grapes ripen and they'll be good. In football, there is also a human aspect. Right now, we are more or less satisfied with the team's performances, the playing style, and the work that's being carried out by the coach and the staff. I think everything is set. We look to have got all the ingredients. Trio's overall record is good. In his two decades as president, Bordeaux have won two league titles as well as four domestic cups. Compared to most French clubs, it's a good record. Over the last 20 years, we have the third best record in France, after Lyon and Paris. Would we like to have won more? Yes. Bordeaux haven't clinched the league title since 2009 and finished 11th last term. With rivals like Nice, Lyon and Marseille attracting foreign investors, some fans are worried Les Girondins will get left behind. We already found our investor. It was in 1999 when the television channel M6 came in. They've invested in the training ground and contributed to the new stadium development. They've shown a desire to invest. Today we have to adapt. We need a youth academy that's productive and we need to be clever when we buy foreign players. People complain that we don't buy well-known players but the fact is, once they're well known, they're not for us. So far this term, Trio's policy looks to be working under new coach Jocelyn Gorvenek. Jocelyn has won everyone over quickly. He's experienced everything because he started coaching in the sixth tier, then worked his way up. What I'm really pleased about is the reaction of the players who look to have really taken to his management style. If Gorvenek has essentially a young squad, he can call upon two experienced recruits in Jeremy Toulolon and the former PSG attacker Jeremy Menez. Jeremy Menez, Jeremy Menez is a boy who has a huge heart and a bad character. But I like players who have bad characters. He can change a game in a flash, something other players just can't do. Should Menez perform, who knows? This season's vintage could surprise a few. It's wide open, even if there are some teams who are superior. We could always have a surprise like Leicester. Why not?